Oh great. The 250 NMR is down. Just great. Why does this thing keep breaking? It's not that difficult. All you have to do is make sure that you close out of topspin, you don't touch that big giant metal box, and you don't leave anything metal around to get caught in the magnet. It's not that difficult. Just leave it alone and it won't, it won't break all the time. Great. I can't use the 250. I'm going to go find out what's wrong with it. Yes. Where this thing better work today. It's broken again? I I just pulled a lot of junk out of it a few days ago. And it said it was working. What what happened? Electrical problems. Oh, I've got to see this. Somebody cut the wires. This has got to be more than just basic error. I know it is. I mean, the first
first time, I pulled all the junk out of the NMR. This time, all the cables were cut. This has got to be sabotage. But who would do this? Maybe it's one of the professors. What about D Dr. Stanley? He's powerful enough that no one would suspect him. His group only needs phosphorus NMR, too. And I oh, the proton NMR that was cut. Maybe he's trying to hurt all the organic professors, and he's trying to take away funding from them, because if they can't get their projects done in time, they won't get refunding, and then he'll get all of it. Maybe that's it. No, no. What about Dale? Maybe it's a little closer to home. I mean, he knows more about NMRs than anyone else in the chemistry department. When anything breaks, and anything in the NMR breaks, we all go to him. What if he's trying to single-handedly control all the research at LSU by stopping the NMR from working and only fixing it whenever he desires? Maybe no, maybe it's, maybe it's something else. What about, what about Dr. McCarley? He doesn't even need NMR. Maybe that's the direction to go in. I mean, if there's no NMR working, then a lot of the organic and some of the analytical and inorganic people can't get their work done on time and then then they lose their funding and they can't get anything. Then all that funding would go to Dr. McCarley because he doesn't need it. He always does have that shut door and no one knows where he is. What is he doing all those times? Of course it could always be just the students messing things up, but I'm going to find out once and for all who does this. I'm going to find out who this saboteur is. I think he's in there. I got you now. That looked like some sort of goblin or creature. I wonder what that was. It looks like he left something back here. I wonder what it is. It's the Bruker 250 NMR manual. And the Chopin Hall elevator manual. That creature has been sabotaging the NMR and the elevators. <laughs> 